My name is Julia Hernandez and I'm a preschool teacher for Parks and Recreation. And today I have two great activities for us and they're going to support each other at the end of the video. So our first activity is Play-Doh. We love Play-Doh. Play-Doh is an important part of learning because it is all about science, it's all about math, and it's all about collaboration. And that's what we really need to think about when we're um, working in the classroom with our friends or being at home with our families. So first of all, I'm going to sanitize my hands. I washed them before, but I'll put a little bit of sanitizer on. And we're going to make our own Play-Doh. The first bowl is our wet bowl. Second bowl is our dry bowl, and then we're going to see what the chemical reaction is. So we're going to start with a tablespoon, and we're going to get four spoons. Not perfect. Science. We can just have fun with it. Two, three, four. That's our dry bowl. And our salt, we're going to do two. Two big tablespoons. One two, two. Then we're going to mix our dry. You want to get all that flour and all that salt to kind of combine into a, a nice kind of butter color. Then we're going to set this aside because we have lots of other ingredients to mix. So this is our dry bowl. Then we're going to move over to our wet bowl, which is we're going to use one tablespoon of vegetable oil and really any kind of oil you have in the kitchen would just work fine. Then there's our one tablespoon of oil. Then, and also Play-Doh is a fantastic sensory ex experience because you're touching, you're feeling, you're hearing, you're listening, you're smelling. So I thought we would add some peppermint extract or we have lemon extract. So these are our liquids. And then it's really great when you're working with your children and uh, when we're working with children to give them many choices. So we have a variety of colors. You ask what color would you like and what color would you like? Red or blue. Blue. Wonderful. Great choice. And that way the child, the family, the parent, the teacher, whoever's experiencing this owns the experience. And we want it to be their experience and our experience. So that's one two, three, four. That's kind of the fun part. So then, would you like peppermint or lemon? Which one would you like? Peppermint. peppermint. Yummy. And just the scent, it kind of just really adds to experience. And we're just going to put a little dot of that. Then we're going to add a couple of, two tablespoons of water. One, Two. Then we're going to mix up our liquids. And the fun part about this is we're going to see what the chemical reaction is. And we're going to mix the liquid. Actually, let's pour. And when we're working with process, we want it to kind of stretch out so that child or adult really feels that they have their own space and time to complete the activity. We're in no rush. It, this is supposed to be fun and it's going to be messy. So we're going to just add the powder, the flour, and the salt into the liquid and just give it a little bit of time to mix properly. So we're going to mix, put all that in there, mix it up a little, and you'll start to see that it's getting dry, the liquid. This is the chemical reaction. And we're going to start mixing and mixing and mixing. And since we're using this activity to support the next activity, it's going to be a little bit drier than usual because we want it to be a bit firm. So I'm going to add just a little, little tiny bit more water. And it's just, this is the fun part. Being able to squish and twist all that fine motor. And when we're standing in an activity, it's a gross motor activity. That means our whole core is part of the activity. The whole core is part of the experience. And when we're sitting, it's more of a fine motor and, and, and eye-hand coordination focus. So we're going to get this wonderful Play-Doh in blue. Great choice. Love blue. So you're going to get your Play-Doh like this. And look, it's starting to, 
the chemical reaction is it firm. It's becoming more firm and solid. It becomes solid. So let's just put a little bit of flour on our table, on our space. And that way we can knead it just a little bit. But we don't want to add too much. But this is a great fine motor to <coughs> strengthen our fingers to be great riders. Give thumbs up, give the peace sign, all these wonderful things. Fine motor. And this is a really great activity for social emotional. If you feel stressed, children and adults stressed or anxiety or anything like that, just feeling the Play-Doh between your fingers, it just feels great. It feels really good. So we've made blue, it's a neon blue Play-Doh. So this is your final. And once you have the Play-Doh for a while, and it's starting to kind of come apart and kind of feel weird, um, it's good to put it in a um, plastic bag, and then you can have that, s that sensory experience as well. It just lasts longer. And then when you do have your Play-Doh, it's great to have little trays for each child, just so everybody has their own space. You can start, um, you can extend the experience by adding different animals, storytelling. Play-Doh is just never ending. It's a great opportunity to build vocabulary and build communication skills as well. So that was our first experience, Blue Play-Doh. Thank you. Hi, it's Julia Hernandez for Parks and Recreation, and this is part two of our science and math activities. So remember, we ended up with a beautiful blue ball of Play-Doh. Great choice on the blue. So we talked about um, how science and math are such a great relationship and have a lot to do with one another. And what we're going to do, we have our blue Play-Doh. So now we're going to make four circles. So here we go. This is great for just getting stress out and just really exercising your body. And again, we're standing up, so that makes it a gross motor activity. That means your entire core is a part of the experience. So how many circles did we say we're going to make? Four, right. So here we go. One. And rolling balls is so much fun. Here we go. One, two kind of make them a little bit higher. One, two, here we go. Three, and we have our audience here. We have our little seahorse and our blue dinosaur. One, two, three, and four. So we have our four. Now this is a math activity and we're using pasta. Pasta, we, we all generally have a few pieces around the house, a few boxes around the house. So we're going to do one, two, three, and they have a really neat texture. It's always nice to have things that are a little, they're very careful, you have to be really careful too. So we have one, two, three, and four. So our first activity was creating Play-Doh. So now, as you can see, the Play-Doh is going to support the next activity, just like we support each other in our classrooms, in our families. So this is our foundation, and this is our activity. So we're going to be talking about big, small, counting to five. Let's see how many things we can count. So let's start with our small macaroni. And actually, this is penne. Rigatoni? I'm not even going to say. Pasta. <laughs> We're using pasta. And this is a great counting activity. And you can be sitting or standing, however. So we just do this. One. Oop. Great eye hand coordination. Two. Three. Four. Five. So there you go. Five. And they start to feel what the number five is. They start to see what the number five is. And even if you know what the number five is, we can start counting by fives. All different sorts of things. So you have one, two, three, four, five. How many do you think we should put here, here, and here? What do you think? It's all up to you because this is your space. One, two, three, four, five. 
And look, we have really big pasta. So you have the small pasta and you have the big pasta. And if you put one of these, let's try. One. Oh, that's so heavy. So I'm going to make sure my foundation is ready to support a larger, and I can even stick it in there. So there's one, two, it disappears, three. Should we do another big one? Four. Oh, that was too big. That was too big. Okay, so let's start. Let's put the big one back. We can use it any other way we want. So here we go. So we have two, we have three, four, five. Oh, we could put more. Six. Let's stop at six. That's great. So are we going to use the big one or the small one? What would you like to start with? Small one? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. So if we counted them all, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one macaronis. Or you could even get even bigger and say five, ten, fifteen, twenty, plus one is twenty-one. There you go. And having, ooh, having the children take off the macaroni is another fine motor experience where you're strengthening each finger. Then after you take off all of the macaroni and counting the macaroni when you take it off, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we have our macaroni here, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all these numbers. Here's our Play-Doh, and then we have all these macaroni. And just the process is really important, and it's really fun because they're doing it on their own, and they're creating, they're creating the whole game, the whole process all on their own. That's really exciting. So you start to see your Play-Doh get a little bit dry and you know we've touched all of these so we can't eat them. So let's make a sensory bag. We're gonna close our, our activity with a sensory bag. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna put our pasta inside. This is when we can't count anymore and our Play-Doh's all done. And you put all your pasta in the bag. This is the fun part. This is the even funner part. Here we go. So we're just going to put our thing back down like that. And then this. And you can squish and pound. And then you're going to get soft and crispy things together and just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. That's a great sensory experience. Thank you. So that. That's what we did today. We did science and math and a collaboration of all of these materials. The Play-Doh supported the pasta and the collaboration of supporting one another is so important. So thank you for being here with us today. Have a great day.